Hi guys and uh, welcome to uh, another flight with me, uh, Dragonfly. Uh, this one is in English, not in Swedish. And today we're gonna fly an Airbus A320neo from Belfast to Gothenburg Landwetter. So, join me! Hey guys and uh, welcome to the game. Uh, here is our Airbus A320neo with the SAS livery, Scandinavian. And let's jump into the cockpit. It's uh, evening in Belfast. The weather is a bit crappy. Uh, but I think we're going to be fine. No storms, bad weather. Oh, let's do some uh, rations to our takeoff. We're going to start with giving the airplane some external power, and then we're going to put on the master batteries and while we are at it we are also gonna gonna enable the pumps for the end so that's good and let's enable our beacon light so oh, now we got some power and as you can see the all the instruments are Powered up as they should be. Uh, so let's uh, take some IFR clearance from the tower. Aldergrove ground, Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One IFR to land vetter, ready to copy. So we got some clearance to take off from runway 7 and climb and maintain 11,000 feet. Acknowledge. Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One cleared to land at our airport as filed. And we got me a crafty autopilot with 11,000 feet. So that's done. And while we are at it, we can enable our flight director. Uh, that's a uh, green cross on the heads up display to navigate the plane in case of uh, some kind of failures or emergency where we have to fly the plane by ourselves. So that's good. Uh, turn off the auto brake. We don't need that, we don't want the plane to make an automatic braking when we're gonna do our takeoff. So let's do some uh, preparations to uh, turning on the engines. So we're gonna go up to our overhead panel and we are going to turn on our APU and for you guys who don't know what the APU is it's a small engine in the back of the plane it's right here uh, it's a kind of generator that's gonna help us start our main engines engine 1 and 2 Wow, it's beautiful. Look at this evening. You can still see the sun on the sky uh, shining through the light clouds. Well, let's jump back into the cockpit. And as we can see now, the uh, APU is available. And after that, we can turn on the APU bleed. And as you can hear, it's 
starts to generate air air pressure that's gonna help us start the engine so and uh, because we have started our APU and the generator is running in the back we can turn off external power that's done and we can also turn on our lights strobe is on beacon is already on wing lights on navigation lights on landing lights on uh, runway turn lights on and we're gonna set the nose light to taxi and because it's a bit of colder weather we're also gonna enable our anti-ice on the wings and engine one and two and also turn on some uh, windshield anti-ice so now we are uh, ready to get some taxi clearance Aldergrove ground Scandinavian Sierra Echo 01 with Alpha ready to taxi IFR Scandinavian Sierra Echo 01 taxi to and hold short of runway 7 using taxiway Alpha cross runway 17 Bravo contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready yeah acknowledge That's good. Um, let's check. There are the markers. So we are going to request a pushback if that's available. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try. Um, beautiful plane, actually. I love the SAS livery. It's uh, the latest one that SA uses on the. Airbuses that they own. It's cool. It's clean, but still cool. I love the black markings on the pilot windows. Love it. So let's jump back into the cockpit and let's see if push back the services. Request push back. Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One requesting pushback. Alder Ground Ground Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One no pushback tug is available to answer your request. Well, okay, uh, no pushback tug on this airport, so we're gonna uh, do the turn ourselves. We're not at the gate, so the rest of the people that's in the terminal uh, is not going to be death, death, uh, death. I'm sorry, death. Anyway, so yeah. So let's do the startup for the engine two and one. We're gonna go down here. And we're gonna set the engine mode selector to ignition start and we're gonna turn on engine master 2 and go back to engines display we can see that N2 is starting to raise in percentage and can see that engine 2 is also starting up and we are getting the RPMs needed for it as soon as engine 2 has uh, wind up then we're gonna start engine 1 as you can see Engine 2 is spinning right here. And we have. Oh, you can hear the 
all the oil hydraulics uh, starting to uh, level out aircrafts pipes you can see that we have got our idle rpm is uh, 19,500 rpms so then we can go and uh, start our engine one Start it up. Go back. And or you can see that N2 is also raising in percentage. And engine 1 is slowly but surely starting up. And we can also see that the Oil pressure is uh, rising in uh, engine 1 and the temperature is also going up. There we have engine one running on idle normal RPMs also. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, let's uh, ask the tower for some uh, weather information uh, that we can program into our take off in the flight computer uh, so we need the temperature and I'm also going to write in that we're going to use flaps 2 so and we can ask the AT, ATs uh, at the Belfast ground and then we're going to get some uh, weather information here Temperature one one. That's good. Temperature is eleven. So next to temp, and then we can see that our V one speed is uh, one hundred twenty six knots, and the V rotate is one hundred thirty one knots. So. Let's uh, put that into our autopilot uh, in case of emergency. I'm going to put in uh, 132 knots. That's going to be enough to lift off from the ground. Perfect. Let's uh, reset the altimeter by pressing the button B on the keyboard. And then we're going to get the right altitude. Oh, that's good, that's good, everything checked. Let's put our flaps into position 2. Here, 1, 2, speed brakes uh, armed. Good, and we can release our parking brake, and then we can start rolling to the runway, runway 7. So let's get some thrust. Why? No. Give it a slow thrust forward. Perfect. Let's follow the blue lines. No traffic. And let's make a right turn.
bit bumpy, but it's okay. There it is from the outside. You can see that the flaps are in the position too. And we have... Uh, we're going a bit too fast. Uh, best practice is to taxi with a speed less than uh, 20 knots. Well, that's a bumpy ride for our passengers to the runway. I think it's going to be a beautiful uh, takeoff actually. So we're going to go to the hold short line of uh, runway 7 and then we're going to ask for uh, takeoff clearance. Let's stop here. Uh, there is runway 17, and runway 7 is actually here. So we have to cross runway 17 to get to runway 7. So let's turn in on power. For takeoff runway seven, Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One. So roll out. Oh, the blue blue markers disappeared, but I think we're gonna manage. There we go. 
so operations for it off and adjust the nose light to take off position and check the here we have it different now uh, one four three knots four seven thousand feet here down on position two speed brake armed Trust to flex and release the brakes. And I'm adjusting the rudder to stay on the center line. We have one hundred knots. V1 and rotate. What's the rate of climb? Gear up. Hold the center line and the autopilot. flying. Laps up to position one. Change the radio channel. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Hand off. Laps up. Adjust the thrust to climb mode as you can see on the display. It's CL Trolley Lima climb and check it out from the outside. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. A bit cloudy, but we have the sun. We have our plane, we are raising the altitude, beautiful, uh, I forgot that we didn't turn off the APU after the engine starts because we don't need it anymore, so let's turn it off. Good, and let's set the uh, engine mode selector to normal. Oh. Climbing. Uh, let's check our fuel usage. I have uh, installed the fuel mod for the Airbus because the original plane is uh, not showing the right amount of fuel usage uh, it uses almost 70% more fuel than it should be so this is more realistic for this plane so we have used 395 kilograms of fuel and there we got some new instructions to climb and maintain maintain flight level to 30 so let's go to the autopilot again and adjust 23000 flight level to 30 and enable and we can see that the 
engines are raising in RPM again. Can enable some data on the radar. We can see our flight plan. Uh, we're gonna make a left turn and then follow a climb and then right turn and follow a straight line to Gothenburg, Sweden. And here we have the beautiful view from the Airbus and this magnificent ultra realistic graphics with the satellite imagery from Microsoft and Asobo. It's awesome, it's beautiful. So let's change the radio channels again. And let's tune in on the Manchester Center. And we can also turn off uh, the landing lights, we don't need these anymore. Retract and the nose light to off and the runway turn lights off. Strobe is on auto and we are on our way. So let's prepare the passengers for coffee, beer and food and hope that they are going to enjoy the flight with Captain Dragonfly. So let's do some external views. And there's the beautiful view from the inside of the cabin on the passenger windows. So enjoy. Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One, did you hear my last transmission? And then we're gonna change the one, channels one, again. Decimal. And there is our approval to climb and maintain flight level 350. So let's put 350 in and engage. And we can see that the engines are raising again. 
and we're gonna do our last uh, step of climb and then we're gonna reach our cruising altitude and cruising speed and continue to Gothenburg, Sweden. Also reset the, the altimeter again to 2992 uh, to get the right pressure uh, and see that the altitude meter reset itself so we got the proper altitude showing right now. It's a nice cockpit, it's high detailed. I love the, the little joystick, not the yoke that you have on the older planes. Uh, I think it's minimalistic and modern in some way and it's clean, it's a clean airplane. Get that view. You can also see on the map where we are. We are somewhere over the UK. We're gonna fly over UK and then over the Atlantic, in over Denmark, and there we have Arlanda. Uh, I, I mean Landwetter, sorry. Not Arlanda. Arlanda is in Stockholm. We're gonna make an uh, ILS approach when we reach Gothenburg and uh, that means that the autopilot is gonna help us to uh, do our uh, lineup with the runway and we're gonna use the autopilot down to like 100 feet and then we're gonna turn off the autopilot and do the last step of final and landing by ourselves. So tune in and enjoy the flight see you when we are getting close to Gothenburg
update. We are uh, leaving UK. You can see the border here, and we are going out over the Atlantic. So, tune in. Next stop is Gothenburg and the landing. So guys, welcome back, and uh, we are uh, starting to do our descent, and the first thing is that we are gonna uh, reach flight level 290. So let's adjust our autopilot, here is the VFR map, we are over Denmark, soon to be in Gothenburg, Sweden. So autopilot, flight level 290. Engage, and there we see that the plane uh, down in thrust, and soon we're gone. Drop some altitude. You can see on our uh, radar here that. Uh, Dome. Yeah, I cannot see more detail, but or do a straight fly in and make a turn runway twenty one. So let's see if there is some information we need to adjust in the flight computer. Our approach. Gonna need the tonnage and the temperature and the wind and those that information we're gonna get from the ATIS from the land with the tower. Um, we're gonna do a full lapse conf. Uh, and you can also, if you know the information, you can um, Google it up. Or the runway you land on, what the MDA or the age is the minimums of when uh, decide if you're gonna do a turnaround or do your finals. 
landing. But I'm not gonna do the approach or the landing with with this uh, right information for these two, because uh, I don't think that they are doing any difference to the landing at all in the simulator. But if you want to um, have the most realistic uh, experience of your simulator, then and Google it up on different sites and write the information in. So, QNH is the uh, pressure, temperature is the temperature in Celsius, and the winds uh, uh, we're gonna get from tower just before we're gonna do a final approach. And uh, let's see how much fuel we have left. We have 11 and a half tons of fuel left in the tanks. Uh, right now the fuel flow is only 7 kilograms per minute uh, so it's low because the engines are in idle mode because we are doing our descent we have used 3.2 tons of fuel total up until now so yeah I'm just gonna wait for the plane to level off to flight level 290 and we are soon there you can see that it's dark outside almost, you can see the sunset behind us, it was uh, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the images and the video, the cruise flight, uh, we have uh, a lot of stars in the sky. There we got information to descend to flight level 190. So let's go to autopilot again. I'm turning on uh, the ILS uh, director also, so we get all the info we need on the display here. And we are down to flight level 250 right now. I think it's cloudy outside because uh, we cannot see any lights at all in front of us. Gothenburg is quite a big city, full of lights. Oh, maybe if we're gonna go down even more soon, maybe we're gonna see some of the British city of Gothenburg. Uh, just for info, you can adjust your height when you are in the normal position with spacebar. Uh, I can recommend it uh, when doing the landings because you get a better view of the outside.
Okay, Scandinavian contacting Malmo Center. Malmo Center, Scandinavian Sierra Echo 01 is at flight level 205, descending flight level 190. Scandinavian Sierra Echo 01, Malmo Center, continue to book as planned. So as you can see, we are soon at our waypoint of Pevak, and then we're going to our approach. Our landing. So we are down to flight level 190. I'm going to set parametric pressure to European measurements. Knowledge 13,000. As you can see our flight plan, uh, when we reach Pevac, we're gonna ascend some more to 6,000 feet and then 4,000 and then we're gonna make the approach at uh, 1,500 feet. And there the signal came up, uh, so the plane find, found actually the signal of ILS for runway 21 in Landwetter Make some uh, pre arrangements uh, in the word panel for our lights, landing lights. The taxi. Wing turn lights. Strobe. Ready to. Just cope and or descend. And soon we have reached flight level one three. Our metric pressure. Our measuring in hectopascal in Europe. That's standard measurements, and it's these numbers we're gonna have to put in the flight computer. Uh, before we do our landing. Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One descend and maintain three thousand feet. Descend we got and instructions 3, to descend and, and maintain three thousand feet. Come on, autopilot. There. Yeah. 
through some clouds uh, sections. You don't want to manage the radio comms, you can always uh, turn on the AI, like this box here, manage radio comms. And you have to read every single box of text. Give you. Keep speed below 210 knots. Expect vectors ILS runway 21 approach Scandinavian Sierra Echo 01. Our flaps to
Here down. Contact Landvetter Tower on one one eight decimal six zero five. Maintain present heading and altitude. Tower on one one eight decimal six zero five Scandinavian Sierra Echo zero one. Landvetter Tower Scandinavian Sierra Echo zero one five miles northeast inbound ILS runway two one approach. Not don't pilot and Scandinavian Sierra Echo zero one Landvetter Tower. Runway two one approach. Altimeter two nine or decimal seven one wind two two four at one six. Scandinavian Sierra Echo zero one cleared to land runway two one. Wind two two four at one six. Runway yeah, 21 Scandinavian Sierra Echo 01 Please stand the runway Autopilot that is not working Altitude and make the coach again. Actually. It's bad weather, so I don't see anything outside. This is fun. Um, it's in the hundreds. Uh, Or So we're gonna go back uh, on this lineup with the uh, runway. Uh, then we're gonna age our uh, LS approach again. Do some. Left overshooting. And when we get to this direction here, then and enable the lock mode, and it's going to lock on the ILS approach path again for the runway of the one. Managed airspeed. Yeah. 
here we can see some of uh, Gothenburg city so it's an extra go around for you guys sorry for this but sometimes the autopilot is just too slow at uh, descending to the right altitude and uh, then we have not much time to reach the runway the right altitude and then we're gonna overshoot it so here's the beautiful city of Gothenburg there's the one of the European uh, roads beautiful but it's crappy weather so it's cloudy As soon as we um here, that we make a return and onto the island. This is the most fun with this game, the more challenging landings, the big aircrafts. Okay. 
is adjusting itself to the runway heading again. Perfect, I'm gonna do approach mode. Apps to and we are centered with. We're heading the glide path. Set the old brake to medium. <laughs> Spoilers are armed. Challenging thing. There is the runway, and we are on the right approach. We have two white, two red uh, lights on the side here. That's good.
ready to turn off the autopilot. 500. thrusters what's turn off thrust turn here and welcome to Gothenburg land letter to parking spot it was a uh, rough weather actually that was the most challenging landing with the airbus for me so that's that's um Clearance to take the aircraft to parking. Land better ground, Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One request taxi to parking. Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Alpha Bravo. Land better ground, Scandinavian Sierra Echo Zero One say again. Oh, sorry. And here we are. I hope you enjoyed this flight. Sorry about the landing problems, but uh, as I say guys, sometimes the autopilot is uh, taking its toll in this game. I think they're gonna be um, in... they're gonna improve that later on in the game with new patches and so on. Uh, my name is Dragonfly and like my video and follow my channel I'm gonna post more uh, flight simulator videos and they're gonna get better and better and for you guys who are wondering what settings I run I run the game in uh, 1440p with uh, ultra settings almost on every level of detail I'm running a PC with the Ryzen 7 3700X CPU and uh, Radeon 5700XT graphics card and 30 gig 32 gigs of RAM.
so please comment if you want to see me do another flight with another plane and give me some tip about which route you want me to plan and I will do my best to post a video for you guys. Until next time. So soon we are going to make our right turn to our parking spot and of our passengers who surely are scared to their bones after that harsh landing in ugly weather at Landwetter. So there's our spot and there are buses for our passengers. That's great. Rolling easy and we're here. Thanks guys for enjoying this flight with me. I wish you a great, awesome day and see you in the future. Parking brake on and... Uh, off.